It's finally here. The day is upon us. Venice Unleashed has officially released and I've been trying it out, having a nosy around the server browser to see what sort of mods we can toy around with. Now, what you're seeing here in the background is a modded server called Infection. Basically, Battlefield Zombies. And it is an absolutely genius usage of a night map in the form of Epicenter from the Aftermath expansion. If you're a soldier, you have an LMG and a pistol, and if you're lucky, one of them will have a flashlight on it, because this map is almost completely pitch black, save for the odd neon sign and distant muzzle flashes from your teammates as they scream their final breath before a zombie devours them. Now the atmosphere that the creator has brought into this map is amazing. If you're running around, you can't see one foot in front of the other and you know, you're legit worried that you're gonna get jumped by a zombie. The tension is palpable. So in typical zombie fashion, once a zombie knifes you, you too will become a zombie. And I really like this nice overlay that's been custom made here. I think out of all the mods I've tried so far, this one feels the most polished and fun to play. He's also made use of the game's thermal vision that would normally be reserved for tank or heli gunners and special weapon sites, but here the zombies use it to easily see around the map. So Ghost, how can I gain access to this mod? I hear you cry. Well, luckily for you, it's fairly simple. Firstly, you will need a copy of Battlefield 3. This will not work if you have a cracked copy of the game. But the good news is that if you have Amazon Prime, they are offering up free copies of the game. So go and grab a copy if you haven't already, install it, and then make sure to launch it at least once before you install the Venice Unleashed client. That part is very important. So then head over to the Venice Unleashed website, create yourself an account there and pick a username, download the Venice Unleashed client and go ahead and install it. It seems to want to stick to a specific directory when installing, so I would just let it do its thing and not bother installing it anywhere else. After that, you should be free to launch the game. Make sure you have Origin open so it can verify your account, and then you'll be greeted by this lovely UI complete with server browser from where you can join any modded server you wish. Now, do bear in mind that this is a work in progress. There are issues with it, some of the servers become laggy from time to time, and sometimes it'll just constantly tell you it can't connect. But just keep spamming reconnect, and eventually you will get through. So what other mods are there to see here? Well, one of the major changes with Venice Unleashed is that you have 120 tick rate servers. So hit reg is dramatically improved over the regular Battlefield 3 servers. Somebody has also implemented a compass that is present in a lot of the servers. So, you know, just like in squad, for example, you can call out the exact direction of an enemy for a squad mate to find him that little bit quicker. Suppression has also been toned down, as has that annoying blue tint that has always been so prevalent in Battlefield 3. So, some of these mods are small, you know, quality of life changes that you perhaps won't notice right away, but actually make some of the biggest differences. I believe there are even going to be servers with more than 64 players available at some point, but I've yet to find any so far. Now, as for other modded servers, one thing is apparent to me. Just like the infected server that I showed you guys earlier, a lot of these custom game modes are there, mainly just to showcase what can be accomplished with this mod and the kinds of things that you can tinker around with. So the Chaos mod server here is a very good example of that. Every time you spawn in, you'll get a random weapon. Sometimes it's the Ultra AEK that fires RPGs instead of regular old bullets. And other times it can be the souped up P90 that delivers 12 gauge shotgun rounds. And then layered on top of that mechanic, you also have a random chaotic element that affects everybody. So sometimes you just randomly spawn up in the air and you have to perform a halo jump, which I might add when coupled with the ultra RPG spewing AK can be quite a lot of fun. Other times you'll get the super jump ability or even wall hacks of all things. The first time I saw that one, I thought I was gonna get banned pretty soon until I realized that it affected everybody. 
Now, there are also several other servers that have killstreaks enabled. So, just like in Call of Duty, as you score points, you unlock killstreaks that are selected by you from the spawn menu, and you can then use them in-game. So, you've got things like Smokescreen, that just spawns a ton of smoke grenades, or Artillery Strike, that rains fire from above. Now, obviously, these abilities are completely overpowered and don't really have a place in a Battlefield game. But this game mode is, you know, obviously just a bit of fun. There's also a new spectator mode, which I've been having a load of fun with. I've honestly never seen Grand Bazaar from this perspective. And for anyone out there wanting to create cinematics or, you know, take fancy screenshots, this is going to be an awesome tool. So that's what I've been playing around with for the past couple of hours. I haven't tried out all of the modded servers, so I urge you to go and try it out for yourself, especially if you've already got Battlefield 3. Venice Unleashed is totally safe and free of charge, so it'd really help the devs out if you were to play on their servers and test out their mods. So far, I don't think I've found a mod that I could, you know, sink a massive amount of time into. They're mostly just playgrounds for me to have a bit of a laugh in, but this really opens up the possibilities of what kind of mods can be created, and I'm really looking forward to the reality mod for Venice Unleashed. Guys, let me know if you discover any cool modded servers that I haven't mentioned in this video. The ones I played in just happened to be populated at the time, so I'm sure there are a ton more awesome servers out there that I just haven't tried yet. As always, leave your thoughts down below, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.